Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Today, James and I are hanging out with Lucy and Lauren. And we got here early enough where I'm going to go home when he naps. Um, we were just hanging out and playing. Lauren took a couple of videos. So maybe I'll pop some in here. We just had lunch. I'll probably just play. I'm waiting for Sarah and James to come home. Um, they had a good day. I've just been in meetings all day, but tied up a lot of loose ends. Um, found out good news about this like annual project I've done four times over the past couple of years for my company. And so that's good. Um, yeah, so nothing happened too much at home today. Just been in meetings, 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 sending some emails. Um, tomorrow's, it's quickly going to become the end of the weekend. End of the week, tomorrow is home opener. So like, I'm taking a half day. Um, I'll sign off at, at lunchtime. I'll go over to Wrigley Field and begin the baseball season, the season ticket holder. So I don't know what tonight holds for us. We also need to like get ready to go to Florida because the rest of our week's kind of busy. So I'm just waiting for Sarah and James to come home and for me to finish off my work day. And then, uh, we'll go from there. Look at what Jamesy and I came home to. It's our duvet cover. I will admit, I thought the entire thing was gonna be embroidered. This is like a mixture of print and embroidered. And I honestly thought we got scammed by eBay. Like someone took a picture of it and then printed it. But like, it's still, it's really nice quality. And I went on Pottery Barn and it was like, our mixture of printing technique and embroidery. Um, so to be honest, it's a little different than I expected, but probably better in the long run with it being lighter and comfier for our bed. So I'm excited to get this on. Like this whole flower is embroidered. It's still very impressive. Just, I thought for like five minutes that we were scammed. We got five more sleeps until we go to Disney World and we want to have five easy dinners. So tonight, we're gonna have fettuccine with this roasted garlic Alfredo sauce. The reason we said this is blasphemous is because my family is Italian and we always just make our sauce homemade. So a jar, any kind of jar sauce, but I love this brand. It looks really <laughs> yummy. Um, and we'll let you know how it is. Every once in a while I just need to go the easy route. And then I'm also going to make some bruschetta. So we have basically a full container of cherry tomatoes quartered. I'm gonna add some olive oil, a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm, I'm a vinegar fiend, so I like a lot of vinegar. Then I added salt, pepper, and garlic, and then some fresh basil. We are going to do the balsamic glaze on this. Instead of balsamic, like I just used the red wine vinegar for a little kick. But on top of the actual pieces, we'll put on the balsamic glaze. Ooh, I don't know where today went. It's already 7.30. Um, we're about to get dinner ready. Um, work, like I said before, it's a lot of meetings. And then I think like I, Sarah and James were napping when I finished working. Um, so then I had just like some 
mindless esque TV on. I had a movie called Margin Call on, which I've never seen before, but it has a ton of um, the cast is like a ton of people I never knew, but now I know. I think it came out in 2011. Uh, so just an interesting take on like the 08 US financial crisis. I think it was a global crisis. I don't know. And so I'm kind of just like, just kind of pooped today, but like not in a bad way. Um, like I didn't have a bad day at work. It was just like a very productive, but it was like nonstop production, which is good. Um, you know, I think I said earlier, like I'm taking a half day tomorrow. So I feel, I, I feel good there, but Sarah, Sarah just now was like, like, you good? And I was just like, yeah, just, well, um, I'm ready for it to be like opening day at Wrigley Field tomorrow. Um, but it was a good day. And I'm excited. I was doing some planning for some meetings that I get to have in person next week with some of my team uh, team members that are going to be in office. I get to, we're going to do some in person one on ones because I do one uh, bi weekly one on ones with everybody on my team, and I'll get to do a few of them next week in person. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I, here I am, like wanting to not be talking about work at 7:30 at night because I had a good productive day, and I'm talking about work with you guys. Um, so I'm going to go see if Sarah needs any help with dinner or if we're just going to chit-chat and kind of decompress. Um, we have not started packing. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it right now. We got our pasta and our bruschetta. I kind of overdid it on the <laughs> balsamic a little bit. And we got our Jamesy. Mm. Happy dinner. <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> now that is silly. <laughs> I totally forgot I got this on my head. Um, I didn't show mo much of Jamesy's bedtime routine last night because Peter ended up doing some work. And it was just like I ended up doing kind of like an alternate version of it. Um, but we start with some, every like, I want you to say, we do bath time like every two, three nights. <laughs> and after his bath, we put lotion all over his body. I mean, he's got my skin, so that is super important for him. We do his little toe medicine, and now it's just gotta soak in before. We get him in his jammies. He'll have a bottle while we read him a book, and then we'll brush his teeth, and floss his teeth, and then he'll lay down with one of us with a water bottle. So that's like his bedtime routine in a nutshell. I meant to say that yesterday, um, but it was just a different kind of night. <laughs> wow! Sometimes we also do more playing in his crib. So we don't go like straight from our normal day, like straight into the routine. Sometimes we have to do this like transitional play in his room for a little bit. What do you want down there? Are you guys want the facts? The facts are, I don't know if this is one vlog or if this is going to be dropped or if this is going to go with tomorrow's opening day Cubs vlog. Because I just don't know if we vlogged enough today. But if I'm being honest, we were tired. James didn't sleep good last night. We woke up a lot. There been a lot going on today. And so sometimes you just don't pick up the camera as much. Because um, it's already late. Sarah put James down. I had to clean the dishes and clean up toys. And then we just kind of like sat there like... So I'm going to do the, the daily message. And we're going to sign off. Just in case this is a whole vlog. I can't read this in the viewfinder backwards. April 6th. Francis Bacon. Nice last name. If we begin with certainties, we shall end in doubts. But if we begin with doubts, and we are patient in them, we shall end in certainties. I had to think about that one. That one does not click in my brain immediately. Or maybe it's just... I'm tired. This cup right here has been here since Christmas when I shattered um, an ornament that has was holding bulbs from a uh, string of lights that I stole off of where I 
proposed to Sarah in front of the Drake Hotel. So, that's all I have to say about that. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>